Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to my review of Red Hood and the Outlaws number 13, The Life of Bizarro, part 2. Now they're doing something cool with the cover. When it, whenever a company uses the speech balloons, that always gets my attention. Stand down, Outlaws! Only Lex Luthor can save Bizarro. And so that's basically what this entire issue is about. Saving Bizarro. Because it's basically his story. And that's an, kind of a nice variant cover. I like the... But I like the original part two. I mean the, the original better. Now we open up with this kind of scene. Bizarro's thinking. Me and Bizarro. This am my story. Like all stories, this one starts. And he's thinking of himself like he's Clark Kent, I mean Kal El back on Krypton me almost feel bad about this do not forget to write if you ever learn to write you're you am bestest cousin ever woof the life of bizarro part two so he's thinking back that entertain the notion that he was the one who escaped from a exploding planet and he goes Wee! of course kal was not didn't behave that way but, but uh, Bizarro is the total opposite later see you never love you oof <laughs> Bizarro's first family was weird even by Bizarro's standards but me guess being down blown to bits with Krypton am even less fun than floating in space alone me had to pass time so Bizarro thought a lot soon me land landed on earth where am break on this thing and that second family saints am alive we call him Clark we we am call Clark because he thinks of everything you know in his own speech pattern before Am knew it, Bizarro had many friends. Now this is this is this is funny. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Four of them out of the six get different names. Cyborg gets kind of a different name, but not quite. And these are the names of his new friends. Wet Wet, Aquaman. Nightlight, Green Lantern. Go Go, The Flash. Batman. Rope Lady. Cyborg. We were just us. But we're happy. And then he also remembers wait those are not Bizarro's memories not really here in the womb where God said Bizarro should die I have broke enough failure on this project I want destroyed all of them and there and this is what he called the womb as he was created using Kryptonian DNA. Bizarro the failure. 
God said. And because he heard, you know, the voice of Lex Luthor made him think, that's God. Midtown Metropolis, Lex Corp Tower. Did we make the right choice, Jason says, putting all our trust in a lunatic like Lex Luthor, letting him experiment on Bizarro? Seriously, what the hell is he doing in there? And... I think Artemis tries to calm him down a little bit. You're kidding yourself, Jason. We had no choice at all. He created Bizarro. If anyone can save him, it's the world's preeminent mad scientist. You sound like a fan. Not at all. But Bizarro is a clone based on Kryptonian DNA. My understanding is Luther made the study of all things Krypton his life's work. That's fair, Jason says. Let's hope his recent walk with the angels is legit. Just because Batman seems to trust him doesn't mean I have to. And Jason is very concerned because you can see it on his face. Of course, he looks like that pretty much, you know, all the time. And uh, out comes Lex after listening to him. Nice talk. The truth is, the thing you call Bizarro is a wholly owned and trademarked property of LexCorp. One that was stolen by the Black Mask, facilitated by the both of you, and used by you in blatant violation of international IP and copyright law. Call him a thing again and see what happens, Luthor. Red Hood. Nothing he said is incorrect. Let's hear what this man has to say. Artemis says, almost holding him back. Lex says, yes, well, this man can see the two of you have clearly bonded with Bizarro. You'll be glad to know I got his heart beating again. At this point, there is only a 37% chance I can save him. For anyone else, that would be impossible. For me, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> can we see him? Soon, I'm certain. Until then, we'll leave it to the lawyers to settle the matter of ownership after I've pulled off yet another miracle. Isn't, he, isn't Lex Luthor just so humble? <laughs> and so, they stay out there talking, and Jason starts to blame himself. This is my fault. Bizarro's been pushing himself from day one, trying to make me happy. Flying across the Atlantic, beating up a mountain, taking on a killer in the outer orbit before beating down Solomon Grundy when he should have been home resting. It was too much for his unstable body. And Artemis just flatly says, eh, eh, He's not a pet, Jason. You can't command him to sit and, and stay and heal. He's his own person. He wants to help, and neither you nor I, nor anyone else on the planet Earth, are in a position to tell him otherwise. Yeah, he can be a little stubborn. He gets that from your side of the family. <laughs> That's Jason trying to be humorous at a time like that, and Artemis says, Don't even. Poor kid. I can't even imagine what runs through that bizarre brain pan of his at a time like this. And, well, here's what's running through his, bra his brain pan. All sorts of different colors. Sh shapes. Mem memories of his own. And 
He says, Me won't die. Like God said, Me sat in antibiotic fluid and just thought and thought and thought more. Sometimes Bizarro thought inside to his cells. Sometimes Bizarro reached his in his ears, his eye, and eyes to the stars and farther. So many thoughts. Honest, Bizarro almost went crazy with so many thoughts. Me will tell you a secret. Me often wonder. And Bizarro, Bizarre, because me was born that way? Or would me be normalo if never spent so much time trapped in womb? And that's what he called the womb, you know, that, you know, that tube. Me remember, no air. No air am bad, even for Bizarro. Me remember panic. Me remember fear. Then him. Do not know. Did not know what red was yet. But it, it most beautiful thing Bizarro had ever seen. First thing Bizarro ever saw with his own eyes. First reach. First touch. First words spoken to Bizarro. It'll be okay, big guy. Trust me. And then outside, they've that they're they're still talking about the uh, you know their his their hi history. I've been an orphan as long as I can remember. Before that, I was an only child. I guess it's something the three of us have in common. Artemis says, but you have your mentor, Batman. You have your brothers in arms. Not really. I screwed up anything I could ha have had with him a long time ago. Whatever is left, it's not family. Not for me. Not in the way that matters. I feel, I feel closer to that big white lump of clay than well. Any guy I've ever known. Yeah, I knew Roy and Dick since I was young, but since I've been back from the dead, he's the first guy friend I've made. Is that crazy? And that's cute. <laughs> Them playing video games together and la laughing, having a good time. And Artemis says, Not at all, Jason. A very famous writer from Man's World, your Eli Oezo once said, Any time two people meet, it is a miracle. And so this is Jason's opening. At least he thinks it is. So what happens when three people meet? Then back to Bizarro. He's remembering, you know, the past. S someone tried to make Bizarro into Superman. Me knew was never Superman, but did not know who am was besides a word until her. And that was when Artemis was captured and let herself stay captured for a while. And during that time, she taught Bizarro. See, see, good, D, D. She let Bizarro know he was not alone, not real alone, not anymore. She could leave, but she did not, because you know, Black Mass could not really hold her.
and Artemis reflects on her past. My whole life was built around becoming something. A Shintar, the protector of my people. A name other people call you like Wonder Woman or Superman. All that time I spent trying to be something was time spent not being someone. I really, that really makes a lot of sense to me. And then she, this is a scene we never got to see in the previous issues. Artemis and Bizarro, for lack of a better word, frolicking in a fountain. But Bizarro, with him, I've learned to be, to be in the moment, to be me. And she looks down, and it's it's Jason's turn to put his hand on her back in comfort. She says, I've only let three people into my heart in my entire life, Jason. I can't lose him so soon after losing her. Aquila. The only guarantee we have in life is that nothing good lasts forever. We mourn and move on, Jason says. If Bizarro stops, me will miss them. But he says, but that's not going to happen today, I promise. And Artemis is so blunt, but it's kind of reassuring to hear. When she, when she says, what a patently absurd promise to make. Because he just got finished saying that nothing good lasts forever. And then here he says, but that's not going to happen today. And then he makes a... He, 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 he makes his move, or at least tries to. Jason looks at her and says, Now about this third person you let into your heart. He impersonates Scooby-Doo. Does his name rhyme with Race and Rhyme? Artemis just looks at him and says, Oh my goddess. What an ego. <laughs> but at that very moment, it looks like she might have kissed him. Might have. But they will be okay, Bizarro thinks. So back inside, the technicians under Lex Luthor's direction are doing what they're told just like you theorized sir and that really rubs Lex the wrong way because he says I don't theorize anything yes sorry as you definitively posited the clone's body had a counterintuitive reaction to the kryptonite ray even at a micronic dosage as impossible as it seems, the kryptonite is healing the subject. Clear the room, Lex says. But sir, yes sir, of course. Right away, Mr. Luther. Bizarro, Lex says. Do you remember me? And so they show this panel of some time ago, I think when uh, Bizarro was being created. No, you're not him. Referring to Superman. It says, Kryptonite injected into Superman's veins would kill the alien instantly. But you're the genetic opposite of him. So this should save your life instead. There was nothing I could do to help my friend. And I'm not really sure who he, he's talking about right here. He was murdered before he was in the deterative 
state you are in now you're going to get the chance he never had do not screw it up and that seems kind of confusing but maybe maybe Lex is talking about something else later you're not smiling it must be bad news actually this is me smiling <laughs> your friend is going to be fine after a brief period of adjustment that sounds unnecessarily cryptic not at all it will become self-evident when you see him bizarro is no longer of any use to me I've had my lawyers draw up the papers giving you total custody out of the kindness of your heart I suppose Jason says and Lex says this nothing I do is out of the kindness of my heart thank you Mr. Luthor and so they part ways and start walking to find Bizarro as if that won't come back to bite us on the ass someday. We'll deal with it, Armas says. For today, I'm just glad Bizarro is back. And he's no longer on the table. He's standing up and whistling. So Jason walks up behind him, asks if he's okay. And if you notice there, that's glasses on his face so we're about to see something this is the same person bizarro jason artemis what an absolute pleasure to see you again my compatriots while i am grateful for lex's efforts on my behalf i feel totally at ease saying I look forward to returning to our collective domicile whoa did you see that shall we both Artemis and Jason in total shock seriously I need a minute okay be here next issue when Red Hood and the Outlaws becomes Bizarro and the Outlaws That was a slow read, but <coughs> excuse me. That 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 was a, not a slow read, but it was a kind of a slow issue. But there wasn't any action because it was building up to something, and it it, it was just basically focused on showing the emotion and Bizarro becoming self-aware again, I believe. So, what did you guys think about it? Leave your comments down below for me. I am Michael for Spirit Comics. Please do subscribe to my channel if you're new. And also smash the notification bell like She-Hulk. So you'll be notified of all new uploads. And please do like and share this video with others that might enjoy it as well. Till next time, true readers.